everybody. It's me, Whatever's Art. Um, I'm keeping the energy low. Um, I'm probably going to tell you the reason why about that in a second. But I just wanted to say hello there to everybody. I hope you're enjoying this artwork of my new OC that most of you haven't gotten to see unless you're following me on uh, Instagram or Twitter. Uh, Punk Bunny Jane. Uh, she popped in my brain one day and now we've just been drawing her since to come up with characters that I enjoy drawing and she is definitely one of those. There's only so many characters that I feel really capture the kind of look I really enjoy. But regardless of that, I just want to say hi. How you guys doing? It's been a while. Leave a comment what you've been up to since the last time I made a video. So I just want to start off with while I was gone. Um, first of all, we were trying to really improve on my artwork and as you can see, I think there should be a, uh, there should be a noticeable difference in my art skills uh it's not crazy but it's definitely improved quite a bit um at the same time as well i just started working again i had a whole summer job for that entire time while I was just i was just improving my artwork and then i was at work and then improving my artwork and then i was at work uh my job it wasn't like the most strenuous job it's actually been a pretty great job so far uh there was just a lot of like uh, tension because my job involves having to make sure that I'm watching kids and making sure they're safe. Uh, and kids really like to push their own boundaries. <laughs> and you're sitting there like, hey little dude, um, let's have you live like three or four more years uh, and not do anything stupid right now, okay? And they're like, but I really want to do this thing that might internally harm me for life. And I had to go up and go, no Jimmy, no you don't. You want to do it but your 30 year old self will hate me for letting you do it, so I can't. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, no. So, you know, I just to be cautious about that. Uh, and then making sure I'm just focused on work and then my artwork and just making sure I improve. Doing the videos at the same time would have kind of taken away. So I kind of have a plan for this year so that way I can make sure you guys at least get one video a month um, and probably more than that. I have like, I have, like this, I have this half system for the year that we're gonna do. Um, so for my studying, I've been doing a lot more like anatomy studies, rendering studies, um, proportions. I think I've gotten those down pretty well. I have a decent understanding of the body. I won't say I have like an amazing understanding of the body. Uh, but we're getting a lot better than I was beforehand, and there's a lot more things I can actually name now. <laughs> So that's great. We're not going to do that right now while I'm on the microphone because that's too much for my brain to remember. But we're going to be happy that I've gotten there. Um, so as you can see too, this Punk Bunny Jane artwork is about like a, I want to say a couple of weeks, maybe a month old so far. Right now I'm currently, I currently just finished a Bouzette artwork. Um, and that's when, that's, that's the artwork that I would have made at the same time I'm recording this. Um, I've also been traveling a little bit, and that's been like the first time I've done it. I finally traveled around my city. I went on the boats uh, across my city. I've gone in the trains uh, in my city, buses. I've gone around it for like the first time by myself. And I've been around like most parts of my city. Um, but this is the first time I've just been going on like on my own adventures by myself. No family members, nothing like that. And it was just really freeing and really nice to discover and see things and to go to different parts that I've never been to before on my own two feet. That was nice. Uh, I was tried longboarding a little bit. That was pretty cool. Uh, multiple malls, trying new restaurants. I got a massage like the first time in my life and that was cool. Um, outside of that, I think, I think everything else has been pretty mundane. Uh, also, I recently, well, when I was making this, I, uh, I watched a video of the Draftman podcast from Proco, and I enjoyed this thing that Marshall said that I want to try to put into my art, but I'm finding it kind of difficult at the moment, but we're going to get to it eventually, and that is discovering your truth. Um, Marshall was talking about before I ended that video that, you know, art is kind of an expression of what your truth is. Um, Marco, I meant Marshall, my bad. Marshall is a uh, co-host of the Drathman podcast, the Proco, and uh, as they were describing it, he was like, your own truth is a statement that you have about the world, which doesn't necessarily make it true. It just makes it your opinion, which I found quite interesting. 
Um, the dilemma for me as a pinup artist is how can I convey a message that has any depth to it when it's basically just etchy or nude? I don't want to say hentai. I don't want to go that far, but either one of those. How do I convey a message through that? Um, this person named XD, I think his channel, he does anime reviews. He put in a pretty good perspective how anime is like prison school um, or the one with Anna in it that I can't remember the name specifically. Uh, it's the one where the whole world is not allowed to say any perverted things or anything like that, or they'll be arrested. And then that one chick goes super crazy for the main character, and she, her name's Anna. She goes loco for the main character. Um, but in those two animes, they did get to make statements because their plot needed the perversion to make sense. Um, or like the etchy to make sense, you know? Uh, the sexy elements made sense so that's that's kind of the thing i want to be able to do versus just like just you know just drawing hentai because i really don't want to be that guy <laughs> or it's such a weird discussion but it's hard for me to focus than just not just drawing eye candy because i do that a lot i do just like to draw eye candy i'm very fond of feminine beauty so my brain just like wow she looks really attractive i did a good job but at the same time like part of my brain's like but what are we saying we're not saying anything it's just eye candy so it's like a weird counterbalance to get in there. But I want to find what it is that I want to say most of all. Um, so that's that's something that I really enjoyed from Marshall's thing. Because it was freeing to me. I didn't, I didn't really think about it beforehand. Like, yes, the truth that you're saying in your art doesn't have to be the objective truth. <laughs> Uh, my moral standing makes me always want to think like, well, what is the objective truth? What, what is the thing that I believe is the absolute? Not what I think is the absolute. So, and if art's my own world and my own creation, then it should be what I have to say, what I enjoy, things that I want to do. Um, and I've been rediscovering a bit of myself as well through that, and things that I used to love. I was like obsessed with ninjas when I was a kid. I, I, today I was like, man, I should really just bring some ninjas in my artwork and just do like a ton of those. I have no idea other than like martial arts and dynasty warriors why I was so obsessed with ninjas. So that, that was one of them. Um, so outside of that, I think those have been mainly the main things that have come to me. Uh, so as, if you're an artist right now and you're struggling with what you should make, make something that you enjoy because it's your truth. If you think football is amazing, and draw artwork that shows that football is amazing. People might be like, well, football is boring, it's dumb. But that doesn't matter. You think it's amazing. So you go with that. That's what, that's what we're trying to find right now. Also, the weird counterbalance of trying to figure out uh, if you're really interested in drawing these subjects. That's the other big problem. So I'm trying to figure that out. Uh, so now, lastly, onto the updates. So the FTC's rule should have passed right now with COPA. It's mostly YouTube's fault. Um, Copa's not good right now because people who are running it are really out of touch with the internet. Susan was out, whatever her name is. Even she said that they're not up to date with the internet. She's pretty out of touch already, but most, some of them don't even have phones. So we'll see how this goes. They said they were taking a lot of, you know, trying to take criticism in. We'll have to see how these art videos go. Otherwise, it's, that might just be on another site. I might be posting this to multiple sites as well. So, yeah, you know, it's cool. I got college this month, so that's going to be a new start. That's why I kind of want to have my videos planned beforehand, which is the whole big uh, idea I have going on right now anyways. And then outside of that, I kind of want to keep talking softly like this so we can kind of make this an ASMR channel. I can talk forever, basically, as long as I have a subject I actually care about. So in that regard, you guys can have someone just, just you know, speak to you guys about your, about his day to day or not, uh, or certain art subjects. The next video is going to be a lot of art channels that help me out through this period, so I want to give you guys some art channels that kind of help me improve so you can improve. Uh, we might make this a multiple video though, because there's a lot of them, um, so we'll, we'll figure that one out. But I just want to say thank you all for coming back to watch. I know it's been a while, but I was just wanting to improve. So that way, when you go tell your friends, like, oh, I watch whatever's art. It's not like some dude who draws stick figures. It's a dude who's drawing something really good. Um, but we're not there yet. <laughs> As the other brother, we're not even there yet. Uh, but this way, you'll have more to say. Just like I'll have more to say in my work. If that makes any sense. I don't think it does, but we're going to go with that. Uh, 
thank you all for listening. I hope you enjoyed. I hope we got to relax. And uh, have a good day. Hopefully things go well for all of us. The, the news is making me a little worried. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to hang up now. See you guys. I like that. I like that they said I'm going to hang up now instead of talking on the phone. This is a phone call. Hang it up now. See you guys later. It's whatever. Bye.